here, here. The only trouble with this one is if he's let's go, if he's not quite with it, when you go like that, a lot of people have been smacked in the in the face. Right? It's really just an ikio there. All right. If you turn it over and do that, really you're bypassing. But it's the same feeling as the coat of guys with the Ken. So I've warned you, so if I see this big red line down your face <laughs> later, that's why we took the photos earlier. Okay. You just got to whack it in their face. Not in, not in an aggressive way. <laughs> But that's the technique. Yeah, always watch. <laughs> this is a nice technique, this. What you do is you offer them it. As soon as you see the hand going on it, you just push it through a couple of more inches and then you've got Nikio. Okay. This is for the aggressive people. There sounds a few aggressive ones out there. <laughs> All right. So you, it's always tactics. If you just let him grab it, there might not be enough now to get him. So we're going to go on about that. I saw Saito Sensei many times. You know, he'd, he'd finish the ski and he'd be here. But he'd tell you, if you leave more than a, if you leave as much as a hand, somebody behind can grab, grab your Joe. So there's techniques from that as well. But there's techniques where if you're doing Joe Nage, look, you just push it through a little bit. Should we do this one? Yeah, let's do it. I was going to do the other one. I was going to do one not so painful. <laughs> push it through, down. Draw a line straight down his body. Draw a line, thank you. Straight down their body. Here. Keep an eye on him so you move it about a little bit. Over there, turn. And I'm going to tell you the honest truth, it doesn't work. This last part never worked, never has done. It's a demonstration piece. It looks great to the spectators, never worked. He'd never let you fiddle about all that time. He'd be in so much pain, he'd be rolling out and wriggling. Let me show you. This one works. But here, look where he can go. He can go over there. <laughs> he can do lots of things. You can't get behind him. Shouldn't say that, should I? Here, give him a little bit down and then see into the ground. <laughs> that you can do. This next bit, look, just a minute, wait there, wait there while I get you. It, it, it's for show. If you want to do it, please do so. But, but as I say, it won't work. Come on. <laughs> Did you? Okay, that's good. Here. That's Joe Nage, not Joe Dory. We're doing Joe Dory. But just to show you a little bit of, um, just to show you a little bit of uh, what a lot of you are doing is you're, you're standing here, you're doing this, you're doing that and you're pulling him. You have to float. You know, like I've been saying all day, you know, float the back foot, you know, things have to be smooth. I'm gonna stand on the line I'm going to put it here and then I'm going to float over here. Now, I might move about quite a lot because it depends where I have to be to get that. All right. All right. And then you apply the power. <coughs> this one. You know, you've seen this. I mean, the great thing is there's lots of videos out there. Take that leg and you do a little bunny hop back. All right, they're, they're all Joe Nagis, not what we're doing. Okay, so Joe Dory. Itch. Same thing, everything is the same thing. Take it, don't make a big movement. This isn't going to happen. Right. Take a small one here. Step in here and then hit him with that there. All right. So that's basic mechanics. Okay, try this one, please. Don't worry. 
Oh. You can add the atemi or not add the atemi. Okay. okay. So it's good to know where the atemis are going, you know. One's in here where, <laughs> where it hurts, and the other one's just there. All right. So once you've taken them on, not a lot point in throwing with the Joe, but anyhow, so since he would go, hey! The bit that people get wrong, or where, where they struggle is, here you can do, but when they take this now, when they take the, this, has to power up against his elbow. Okay. If you get it wrong and it goes up under his armpit, he can either put his weight down on you or you can't throw them. So that circumference is very similar to what we were doing with the uh, Ken this morning. Hey! Okay. And because they're pinned up there, they're happy to be thrown, usually. Anyhow. So the weakness will be that you'll go in, if you don't do the atemi, what people do is this, they get in because they want to throw, they get it and they try and lift without powering that up. It can't power up now. So hence, that's why the atemi is important. But you roll that wrist round to get the, the pitch. So atemi. Hey! Atemi and throw. Okay, I'm gonna go smash them up.